Hello, this is Bob Bauman, the legal counsel uh, of the Sovereign Society, and I also wear another hat, that is chairman of the Freedom Alliance. In the last several months, I've been traveling around the world on your behalf, and the, on, uh, for our Sovereign Society members, I've been to Ecuador, Panama, and just recently came back from our uh, Total Wealth Conference in Montreal. So I've had a chance to not only talk to members, but also find out what's going in the, on in the world. One of my areas of uh, specialization is asset protection and you probably some of you are familiar with my books that I've written the passport book or where to stash your cash which is a, a compendium of all the offshore financial centers I write these special reports and expatriation and other issues and sometimes after a conference like this talking to individual members I realize how important it is to have a one-on-one -on -one relationship with uh, people they can read my books they can and many of them comment on that but they have questions, they want to know, inf to know information on a uh, continuing basis, and often they bring up issues of the day. We at the Sovereign Society over the last 13 years have tried very hard to be unique in the services that we've rendered in this area of asset protection, of protection of our freedoms and our rights. And a few days from now we'll be celebrating, or not celebrating, but honoring the fallen dead of the United States on Memorial Day. It's been my custom over the last several years to write uh, on, in my blog on, on this and other patriotic occasions uh, a remembrance. More than a million Americans have died in all of our wars. And I especially know this because I come from the state of Maryland where in only a few hours at Sharpsburg, 38,000 Americans died fighting each other in a civil war. So we honor their memory. But I wonder how many of you realize how our freedoms have diminished, not just under the Obama administration, but over the last many decades. Uh, when you read the list of uh, depredations against the Fourth Amendment, the Constitution, one of the worst areas for us at the Sovereign Society has been having to deal with the limitations placed on our liberties and freedoms to go offshore, to invest offshore, to uh, deal in currencies or, or to bank offshore. And the Obama administration legislation has been particularly uh, difficult to deal with. Massive reporting, everything almost short of currency controls, and it's not obviously currency controls, but it places upon the individual American who wants to exercise their freedom a lot of different restrictions that we've never faced before. The Sovereign Society is here to help you get through those thickets, all those restrictions, to help you in a legal way to achieve what freedom in the past has allowed us to do, better investments, uh, currency trading, and uh, certainly s setting up bank accounts and asset protection. I've been doing this now for almost over a decade and writing for uh, on these issues all of my adult life. And I can assure you that one of the best ways is to find the information, study it yourself, see how it fits your specific situation, and then look for the professionals, and we can tell you where they are to carry out these plans. Uh, as I said at the beginning, the Sovereign Society is unique, and in the Freedom Alliance, which I chair, is, another, is a special program, which in effect brings you into life membership. So I hope in this, um, this season of remembrance of those who fought in our wars in the past, you'll consider also the freedoms and liberties that we have and that we've lost. And I think one of the ways you might be able to protect those freedoms is to join the Sovereign Society and join with us in standing up for those freedoms. Thank you.